was very dramatic. Hey, I'm David Levin and welcome to Pop Goes the Culture. You may notice things are a little different around here. We're doing a little bit of a reboot here at Pop Goes the Culture. Give you a little background. I have been working in TV since I was in high school. I've been an editor, a writer, a director, a producer, a showrunner. I've created shows and series for MTV, Lifetime, Animal Planet, Discovery, TV Land, Nickelodeon, CBS. My work has appeared on AMC and Bravo and Bio. I've been fortunate enough to have directed talented newcomers at the beginning of their careers, icons at the height of their careers, and legends toward the end of their careers. I've shared laughs with some of the funniest people who have ever lived, met my heroes, documented the lives of the most successful musicians in the world, written the adventures of the most iconic characters in history. I've worked in music, comedy, news, kids shows, sports, documentaries, and produced a feature film during COVID. I've been nominated for five Emmys, including a win for a kids show I directed with a talented 13-year-old named Jordan Peele. And for the last several years, I've been dabbling in YouTube. I've been a pretty busy guy, and I've really had a great time doing it. Within the last year or so, the TV and film industry has changed a lot. I've seen a lot of my friends, colleagues, co-workers, Emmy winners, Academy Award winners, Golden Globe winners are out of work. Paramount Plus, which includes the MTV networks and CBS, ABC and Disney, Warner Brothers Discovery, have all let hundreds of people go recently. Almost every major media company is suffering from huge losses. Production nearly at a standstill for a lot of the people that I have known for a very long time. And people are worried. People are wondering if they're going to work again. People who have worked in this industry for years are starting to pivot. They're getting their real estate licenses. They're becoming life coaches, working at Starbucks because they can't work in their chosen profession because nobody's hiring, nobody's producing. Now, there are a lot of reasons why this is happening. We're not going to go into that right here, but I've decided to pivot as well. Up until recently, I've been treating YouTube as a hobby. I got permission to represent some of my classic work, things that had never been seen before. And I've developed a small following of people who enjoy watching uncut interviews with classic stars. I haven't put a lot of work into them. I haven't really done any editing. I haven't really created the kinds of shows that I did when I was working in television, shows that actually got pretty good ratings. But now that things are changing, I feel like I want to change also. So I'm going to be doubling down here on my YouTube channel, Pop Goes the Culture. I'm still going to present those classic interviews, but I'll do a little judicious cutting. And I'm using AI, I know it's a dirty word, to remaster some of them so that they're easier to hear. The original tapes have been lost, unfortunately. And I've been working from standard definition DVD masters with visual time code. But now with the technology we have, I can actually make them sound better and look better. I'm also going to be trying a couple of other formats and have some fun and try to do the kinds of shows that I used to really love doing and the kind of pop culture experiences that people really enjoy. I'm also going to try doing something that I've never really done before, which is to tell stories about my own experience in the television industry, people I've worked with, the lessons I've learned, the advice I've received, and some of the advice I've given. I'm going to bring on friends and colleagues, learn from their wisdom, and hopefully pass on some of that wisdom to you who might be trying to break into the television business. YouTube and network television are very different things, and we're going to give you some historical context and tell you what's different. There are dozens of really good people on YouTube who are giving tutorials on how to make TV, on how to make YouTube, on how to grow your audience. I'll be approaching it from a slightly different perspective, the perspective of a guy who's worked in television, both network and online, for a very long time. I'll throw in a little history. I'll throw in a little comedy. I'll throw in a little music. But if you want something a little bit more, one thing I'm also going to try to do more of is Ask Them Yourself. Now, Ask Them Yourself is a show that I've done with celebrities where you get to come on the show and speak face-to-face -face with your favorite TV stars. You get to ask them the questions. They look at you. You look at them. That is one of my favorite things to do, and I want to do more of that. I'm also going to try to do more live streaming. Now, for the people who want to come live into my live stream or on to Ask Them Yourself, you can join the channel by becoming a member here on YouTube. I'll also be updating my Patreon page, and I'll be announcing brand new benefits. For those of you who want to break into TV and have questions, and I know you're out there, becoming a member of this channel will allow you to speak 
directly with me and to get your questions answered in front of an audience. As a member, you'll also be able to talk to some of the people that I bring on the show. These are producers, directors, writers, actors, people who have worked in the television and film industry for years. We'll be having conversations about the state of the industry and about employment and about best ways to get jobs. This will be like a masterclass in film and television production. Pretty cool, right? And again, I will also continue to present classic interviews from the pop culture vault. Some of these have never, ever been seen and are remastered with better sound and better video. Members will get to watch them early and ad-free. Liking and subscribing is free, and I hope you'll do that. I hope you'll share these. And again, I hope you'll support the channel by joining. YouTube is a great way to create a community. And from now on, I intend to fully embrace the YouTube community. Now, if you want to see some of the interviews I've been remastering, check out this video. And don't forget, channel members get ad-free access. I'll see you next time.